Greetings, everybody. This is Joanna from the Sacred Corner and Heavenly Radiance and Universal Love Light. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining with us at the Very Sacred Corner where we choose um, new perspectives of who we are, centering within all that we are, and allowing ourselves to become one with the all in the center point of who we are and creating new. Um, allowing ourselves to learn from the past, be the masters and the wisdom holders of the past, and um, amalgamating all that we are from all timelines, from all aspects of um, past, present, and future. <clears throat> I'm bringing it forward. My body knows that we're going to do a clearing. <laughs> my body, it's already ahead of me. <laughs> it's already talking to my innate body in the unseen, um, and it's already starting to clear. So what we wanted to do today and what we wanted to offer is how to heal and how to create um, through source alignment using the fields, the crucible of all that we are, creating new, um, and showing you how to um, heal um, discordant energies um, either within yourself, other lifetimes within your your experience of your soul, whether you're healing a facet of yourself as um, you're wanting to heal a fear issue within yourself, a, um, a wellness modality, um, something that you're insecure or have anxiety about. Um, that is a discordant energy between you and your true self as source. Um, and, um, or uh, for me, discordant energies are from those perspectives of my per perspective and experience with others, relationships and the collective, the world, um, the, the galaxy and the universe based on um, all of the other experiences that I've lived that I'm able to sense and feel into. Again, the, um, the subtle psyche, um, fields that we co-create through judgment, through fears, through limitations, through subjugations. So all of these are experiences that we're each here to, to heal and clear and um, bring into our oneness, knowing that there is nothing to fear. There is only love. But how do we create that, um, that alchemy to smooth out the discordant energies, to own and acknowledge our fears, to own and acknowledge our judgments so that they can be transmuted? And so part of my, um, my experience and exploration through the past 15 years has been able to transmute um, um, various levels of emotional and um, <clears throat> um, emotional, mental um, um, dysfunction in so many ways, um, addictions, um, eating disorders, um, varying degrees of um, you know, abuse. And so in doing so, transmuting them, coming into this full alignment of who I choose to be. And of course, moment for moment for moment, we're always in new alignments. That's that crucible, always a new alignment. <laughs> you know, allowing source to live through us, through um, allowance and um, being the flow of source, being the flow of love, being the flow of nothing can harm you or hurt you. Um, releasing those mental blocks, the emotional blocks that we've put up because of early childhood abuse or other timeline abuses, um, tragic persecutions from other timelines that, especially Christian children and empaths, we come here with this, this awakened um, um, interactivity, if you will, with our environments of always having to be on guard or to be in fear or to be in um, worry, fight or flight, um, because we've carried those energies with us to heal. <clears throat> and usually the, um, the power that we have within ourselves, why we carry such traumas, is because we have the power to overcome them and transcend them. Um, so we're going to show you um, how I've used working with the God fields. And I've carried this, uh, I'm sure, from other timelines um, because it's how I feel really good. It's how I feel connected. It's how I feel innately me using these experiences um, to transmute and trans transcend. Um, just, to, just to put it forward, this doesn't in any way um, um, override or override the need for um, any outside um, other help, um, counseling, medicinal um, experiences or holistic or Eastern or Western medicines. Um, that's none of, that has not been our offerings. <laughs> it's been to work in collaboration with using the best of all that we've learned and known and taking it from a new perspective of, okay, well, what feels good for me now? Using that inner guidance system, using the higher self and the soul to say, where am I ready now to move in who I am? Um, I have had professional counseling um, sessions um, using um, some of what I've learned through those sessions, but most um, using my own inner guidance, my higher self and soul, and the immense, massive, universal teams that come with each of us and Gaia for those healings. Um, that's how I've experienced my path. It will not be the same for everybody, and it shouldn't be. I'm only offering these forward as 
um, now that we are all awakening into all that we are, all that we exist within and what exists within us, the macro, micro, holographic perspective of who we are as spirit omnipresence, how can we move about these new vibrational experiences to heal the multidimensional um, experiences that we come with? Um, and being crystalline and empathic, we can use various tools and various potential, potentialities to, to soothe and, and self-love, um, which is our own um, ability to be that mother, father, son, daughter experience of the Holy Spirit. We say Holy Spirit that is in, in the omnipresence um, experience, not in a religious sect of um, understanding. We take it to the highest omnipresent heavenly frequency, um, not dissected through any um, man-made experience, because again, it's beyond what we have words for. Um, and it's not meant in any disrespect to any um, dialect. We're bringing oneness into everything. We're only allowing all that we are as a human collective in every array that we can imagine to allow the open heart to say, well, how can we lift this to a higher frequency of understanding? And even then have it be an open potential because there will always be new frequencies of source of the omnipresent zone within anything that we co-create. And one of our articles that we wrote, I think a couple of weeks ago to leave, Lord Sananda was offering, um, and Source was offering me the experience to know that whatever it is that we create in this new fifth dimensional perspective of seeing all of our systems deconstruct, and rightly so, because we're entering into a new consciousness vibration and they need to be built with different um, perspectives and values and integrity um, and vibration. It's all consciousness. Consciousness guides everything that we co-create. Um, and that's evolution, that we're building a new family tree for humanity to fit and belong within the galactic and universal tree. It's all holographic. Um, and so too is it within our cells and our bodies as we open up to these experiences. Um, but to know that Anything that we co-create to, for those in that co-creative process, the crystalline energies, from what I've understood and from what I've, what I've experienced myself and why I've come with such dramatic ache and urge to be a part of the human co-creations of new, um, the crystalline energies um, um, are ones that come with that crystalline platforms and coding to create new systems, to create those foundational experiences. They are the, um, they are the, um, um, the co-creators of um, the systems and the grids and the, the energies and the platforms and then we go off and we'll co-create again <laughs> um, and then the the um, the indigos and the other um, vibrations of the varying selects of all of the creative experiences not that we're defining them but we're only giving you because of the crystalline coding um, that those have come with and each person comes with different coding um, and this is not in any way to create that, that definition. I'm only saying in ways that um, those that are truly inspired to create new systems, um, they come with the, that coding, they come with that soul urge. Not only, I mean, obviously everybody can mix and move in between. We're only saying this in regards to what I've experienced and what I've understood and known. However, it moves across the whole board, of course, <laughs> because that's that source, that spirit. So to be open and to be loving and to be exploratory and expansive and not boxing anything in, we're only using the words that we use. So please don't feel as if they have to box them in and define them because that's not source spirit. We're only saying that those with, with, um, with additional um, crystalline coding within their DNA, they usually come with a propensity to create systems. Um, because that's the coding that we come with so to explore all that has been to call in what we have from other universes and other galaxies and planets and fan it out into what can be and however we co-create it through compromise integrity and working together as one then that's how we create these new systems um, so again please you know those that know our our offerings know that we come with the, the highest level of respect and reverence for all aspects of all experiences all <laughs> all conditions we're only allowing our words to use what we have and how our words often limit us and box things in because spirit is not that at all that fifth dimensional energy is that we each come here with great gifts we each come here with the propensity to create in varying and challenging and, and profound triumphant ways and let's get busy you know we're giving you that that um, understanding so that understanding what the crystalline energy um is is um, the foundations of that crystalline energy is our omnipresence of source. We're here to create with it. That's the evolution of source. That's the joyful co-creative process of source. 
And so what we're discussing today is the healing discordant energies and how we can use um, our ability to alchemically shift anything that we're moving through, whether it be discordant um, relationships, um, relationships that are going through great transition, how you can open up to be a full unconditional loving spirit, that vessel of source, so that you're allowing all universal energies at that unconditional level to flow through you and you can smooth out um, with the universal teams and the healing teams, um, the keepers of the violet flame, Lord Michael and the healing angels. I'll give you an example of what I do. <coughs> so that you can move forward and know that on your soul's behalf you've brought everything that you possibly can when it comes up in that moment to clear it to its highest level of uh, flow because as it's flowing through you you're creating that new creational experience for it to be brought to a higher vibration of truth love light benevolence and compassion and so we are each responsible for the vessel vibration that we carry that is allowing that daily self-care to take place. You know, the dream reflection we talked about, we've got a dream reflection checklist now, so we'll put that on our website and on our um, Facebook, so please check in. Maybe we'll attach it to this video. I always forget to attach things. <laughs> I forget, <him. laughs> um, I need an assistant um, to help me with all this stuff. Um, and so we've got a dream checklist that will help you go through um, the, the emotional frequencies that you're moving through in your dream, what, how they're allowing you to get right to the, the point of the emotional wound in this now reality. Um, and also prepares you because sometimes the dreams are floating in between reality timelines and you get to choose, well, that really didn't feel comfortable for me. I really want to create this way. So that's where your free will and your oneness with source, your oneness with your soul and your, your team to say, well, I really want to create this. I'm really excited about this. How can we work this in? Um, to take ownership of that, but we are each responsible for the ultimate omnipresent vessel that we each are um, And in that we get to um, refine and reflect integrate and process through our dreams through our self-care um, Through our moment for moment harmonization remember that infinity that crucible is how we harmonize Okay, well, I get why I did that I'm gonna soften and reflect into that and really give myself self-love Because I saw that I was projecting something that it wasn't comfortable for me and I really want to project unconditional love so then you recenter and you open up the source and the universal energies flow through you to create something new. So you are a constant harmonizing vessel. We get to choose in moment for moment reality what vibration, what core vibration that we want to hold, what creative experiences and joyful, um, you know, um, excitements do we want to create this reality of experience with. And it's always held in that joyful childlike play. But in the meantime, we still have to we still have to heal. Um, the discordant energies. Discordant and dissonance comes from that break of truth of who we are as spirit. And that's what dissonance means. It means that you're not align in alignment with your full <clears throat> unconditional self. as love. Um, and that's what dissonance and discordance creates. When there is an interaction between peoples or people, uh, more than one, or you or your higher self, you, that ego self and the higher self, however you want to describe it and however it comes to experience it's in a myriad of ways, but discordance is the vibration of who I am is not being respected or vice versa. Or um, I did not live my truth, I did not speak my voice, or I did not use my creative skills in the most integrous way. Um, um, I did not use my heart in the most integrous way. Um, I shut down and I closed off, I hid myself. So whatever it is that is discordant, that's what we're here to heal. So moment for moment for moment, you can use um, what sort of discordance, you know, and there's, there's always some frictions. You know, am I judging that person because they're not creating with me the way I want them to? Well, it's up to us to allow all beings to create and how they choose. <laughs> so that's gotta be my, that's my healing, <laughs> you know? So that's, that's taking those energies in and say, well, what beliefs do I come with to say that someone's gotta do anything that they gotta do? Right? That's where we kept those open communications so that compromise and integrity and working as one can come forward, you know? And of course there's always free will and they can choose to move on and you can choose to move on. But that's how bringing everything up to a higher vibrational level. Am I serving my soul? Am I serving the truth of who I am as well? Can I be this unconditional loving person in all relationships? And, um, you know, how important it is. And then you begin to see the ego um, energies and how the ego um, wants to control things so much. And that's when you can say, okay, ego, you need to observe today. Because today I'm really working on self-love and I'm working on unconditional love others. So I want you to be the observer today. 
and then the ego tries to maintain its control over the environment by forcing outcomes, being right, um, you know, wanting to manipulate. Um, those are all egoic energies um, because it's fear of the unknown. It's fear of loss. It's fear of change. It's fear of, you know, persecution, whatever it might be that you're healing. And that's up to each person to go within and say, okay, you know, where have I been controlling and manipulating emotionally or mentally or, you know, physically because it has to turn out this way. Um, you're surrendering the spirit. It's going to go in magical, miracle, miraculous ways. You can't control it. You just set your intention and you just be free with that, that creative exploration and all things will be as they must. <laughs> That's your connection of unconditional trust that we've often talked about in all of our ascension writings because that's mastery. Mastery is not controlling any situation. Mastery is using your alchemic skills to shift what no longer serves into the highest vibration of love and light through your healing and your learning and your reflection and integration and processing of what you're moving through. And then just to open and allow that source of through me, moment for moment for moment flow, fluid um, understanding of life and creation. Knowing that all that you're putting out is benevolent and loving and divine and that's what that return will be in a myriad of ways to challenge your soul to grow to challenge your um, personality perspective to relax and just come along for the ride um, and be this body encasing of love and light um, so that the ego is truly there to do what its job is and that's to help you manifest um, not to control every aspect and keep you in fight or flight and keep you in a cage um, and so that's what discordance, you know, does. And it comes, discordance comes in an infinite number of vibrational experiences. Some can be very subtle and some can be very dramatic and tragic. So that's where discordance is getting, um, understanding all those frictions in those relationships that you're having is to deal with it and suss it out, you know, sort it out. You know, what's going on between us here? <laughs> you know, let's sort this out because it feels a little discordant to me. You know, I've been doing a lot of work and I'm, I'm coming forward with my highest and my best and being as truthful as I can. What's this discordant between us? And then it can, then you come that far with that unconditional trust. I, I, you know, I want this to be as the highest vibration of relationship offering. You know, how can we honor one another's truths? How can we honor one another's souls and our soul's paths to create the source? These are my boundaries and these are my set needs and desires. You know, what, what do you need? What do you need from me? Where are these discordants leading us? And what, what many are finding now is even through the, the path work of understanding the discordance, you're doing your work, you're clearing the fears and the judgments, and you're still offering that unconditional love. And there's, there's those that are, are on that path of awakened and, and um, resisting and persisting in their resistance. <laughs> and that's okay. Um, just to be continually offering that unconditional love um, and allow them the time that they need to awaken in their path. But then also know that you too have that, that option as well. It was really about this morning, and Mario, again, thank you, Mario, for creating such beautiful videos of our articles that you also have that opportunity to say, okay, well, I'm, 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 I'm needing really to move this way because my soul is calling me in a really big creative way. I need to go this way. Um, and we can't necessarily hold up um, what the soul is aching and yearning for us to do, especially on a collective level, um, to wait for others. Um, because they're going to find their way in whatever you've given them. Uh, you've given them as much as you can give them. And now it's up to them to go within and seek their own divine light and wisdom. And that's what um, we're going to bring this up as discordant energies because empaths and crystalline, we experience this all the time where our boundaries have not been set because we have been come here as light workers, we come here as empaths and crystals. And we've often taken on the responsibility. Uh, uh, unknowingly mm -hmm. to solve problems for everybody because we can sense things at so many different levels and we just want to help everybody be happy and joyful and harmonic <laughs> you know but the part the part that's so interesting and the part that has not been taught and the part that we're here to awaken and to bring forward as early teachings is that you're only responsible for your path you're only responsible for your core vibration you're only responsible for your creative exploration and your expression and your experience to be that unconditional vibration of love and creative exploration and experience is what you offer all others to also be themselves in their fullest unconditional love. That's it. Um, 
and that boundary setting to say that you know I've done so much, I've offered so much, and now it's up to each and every one to play their own unique roles and their own unique paths, and not pull them as if they're dragging and not ready or willing to go because that's not that's not unconditional love and allowing each soul its own unique path and sovereignty, and that's a big one for all um, parents to move through. What level um, is parenting, and what level is old paradigm? energies and we're all moving through it because we're all shifting from 3d to 5d <laughs> you know we're changing eons of behavioral dysfunction um and we, it's not even really dysfunction because that's all we've ever known so to us it's just a normal way of behaving and, and interacting but this is why every one of our socioeconomic systems will go through such rewriting you know um what part of our socioeconomic systems are um flowing benevolent creative um, honor for all parties, serving the all, Gaia, our collective nature, wildlife, air, water. How is that honoring and sovereign? These are big, dynamic, human, collective, global issues that we're all going to be answering and asking and sorting out and sussing out to create new. And this is why it's so exciting. This is the crucible, the sacred corner that we each sit at. And it's okay that 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 those in your circles and in your experiences choose to sit and wonder and ponder, and that's okay. There will be those that will choose not to come along for the ascension ride and the awakening ride, and that's okay. At the soul level, we are all innately one and hugging and in harmony. <laughs> it's not the ego and the behaviors and the experiences that we hold here. You know, who did that to who and who did that to whom? And, you know, that's the ego that gets in the way to say, well, you know, I'm still hurt over that, you know. Those are what we're here to heal so that we can be in physical form, unconditional loving and hugging everyone I all want. That's what we're getting to. And that's where we have to heal the ego. And so, um, but that's where discordance lies. It's in the empathic experience and the crystalline experience to say that it's not our role to solve everybody's timeline. It's not our role to serve their soul's growth. It's not our role to be responsible in making everyone happy. It's not our role to make anyone solve their problems we're here to be the, the the most loving and compassionate and forgiving beings that we can be for ourselves serving our soul's creative excitement serving our soul's creative joy and in doing so the all will be served because there's so many of us that come so aching to serve and helping others that will automatically serve our collective need there are those that come so aching to serve medicinal um, energies and travel and, and help those that are um, you know, in far off spaces and places that can't get to, you know, medical um, buildings. So our aches and our creative joys to serve will be that of serving the all. There will be those coming forward to co-create. Um, you know, I've had dreams. Will be part of probably my soul's path as well as creating um, um, natural, organic um, um, gardens and foods to feed and and ship to places where there is hunger and need, um, you know, serving communities that are in need. And so all of, these, all of these gifts that we come with and our ache and our passion to serve, and if we're not holding it back and we're not, you know, feeling responsible for everybody else's path, then we get to open ourselves up to truly serve the greater good in which we come here to serve. Because oftentimes some of the people in our corners and our circles, our intimate family circles and our intimate friend circles and work circles and all those circles we come with, it's not up to us to organize and to say, you're gonna go there, you're gonna go that, that spirit, that soul. The soul of the oversoul and the oversoul, the oversoul, the oversoul, the oversoul. I mean, it goes so far up in these dynamic, elegant designs. It's not for us to say, you must come with me and you must go with them. That's not sovereignty. Sovereignty is allowing you as their dynamic soul, the source to be the most loving and compassionate being that you can be, allow all others to be that. If so, if they choose. Each person will awaken in their own unique time. They will require their own unique um, way, pathway, their work, their way to work it out will be unique to them. Um, and their process will be unique to them. So, um, but discordance occurs when we, we don't allow ourselves that deep understanding and liberation and freedom because we think it should be done a certain way. And that comes from our old paradigm of parenting. <laughs> you know, listen to me, <laughs> kind of parenting. This is how I say it should be done, so do it. You know, and that's not the sovereign fifth dimensional perspective per se. You know, we're going to be changing all of these. 
there is no one way. It's about allowing us to be free and liberated, flowing and knowing that all children come as masters. They absolutely do. Absolutely do. Every generation comes with a different set of codes and genes that we are seeing unveil in our collective and why many are so bored with the outdated systems that they come within. You know, so we're here to open and operate. Well, how can we do education in a new way? How can we experience these in a new way? Because there's discordance. And that discordance just leads to greater discordance. So healing discordance, let's get back to that. And the discordance can come, as we said, in a myriad of different levels, layers and reflections and vibrations, subtle or not so subtle. Um, and discordance is just that friction between um, what you've now awakened to and what was, because there are some within your circle that are um, wanting to live in that same old, same old, and that's okay too, but it's also okay for you to move in new directions. So allow yourself that permission, allow yourself your permission to shine, your permission to be fully who you are in your sovereign path, to speak and own your truth and your passion and your light, allowing all others theirs as well. But that discordance can be healed. That discordance can be healed on all timelines and all realms and all um, fabrics of your existence. Because remember, we speak of the micro, the macro, all that you are is holographic. So we are responsible through our core vibration, moment for moment for moment, that crucible. How can I heal the all that I am a source? And it's affecting all timelines, all planets. So it's really profound. Um, so the first thing that we do is acknowledge what needs to be healed. And so um, in your daily reflection, your daily self-care and your dream reflection, and we'll post all of those on our Facebook page. So Joanna Universal Love Light Facebook um, or the Shamanic Tarot Facebook page, and we'll post all of these or the Crystalline blog spot or our website. You'll find these um, checklists to help you if you so desire. Um, so in your morning clearing, you're opening up your chakras, you're clearing. And as you open and clear, after you've done your dream reflection, you're opening up your chakras, you're opening up your pillar of light, you're calling in the light from the heavens. And we'll go through this. We're just giving you as a, an introduction, uh, an outline, and then we'll go through it. We'll actually do it for you. Um, and you call forward, and, and in this clearing of your chakras, you open up the chakras, you're calling in your, your third eye, your higher self, and your soul, and saying, and my healing teams, Ego, you must observe, calling in the highest protection of Archangel Michael to protect us from above, below, and all four corners as we create this sacred space and the sacred clearing and healing. I'm opening up my chakras, all chakras, all that I am as a multidimensional being to be opened, to be cleared and cleansed through the divine Christed light. I'm calling in the highest vibrations of the Christed light to heal and cleanse and clear all that I am as a multidimensional being. I call in the highest heavenly frequencies from the heavens through my full body breath. I am unconditional love, and I ask for the highest frequencies of the Mother, Father, the Source Creator to bathe and cleanse me with the highest codes and the highest alignment of my Source Creatorhood. Through my full body breath, I'm calling in the codes to bathe my mental field, to bathe my physical field, to bathe my emotional field, to bathe my etheric field. The aura and the multidimensional bodies of all that I exist within are now bathed and cleansed with the highest frequencies of Source Light. All that I am as a multidimensional being of divine source omnipresence, I am now grounded in my oneness with source creator. I open my chakras, I clear and cleanse all my chakras, I clear and cleanse all densities, all energies that are no longer serving my highest and my best, I open and I clear. Coming in the highest frequencies of love and light, I'm bathing and cleansing all that I am. I'm bathing and cleansing all that I am to be high frequencies of love and metatronic crystal light. Every cell, every atom is being bathed in light. My thought field, my emotional field is being bathed and lifted in the highest frequency of emotional frequencies of love and light, of peace and harmony and joy. My mental field is being bathed so that any thought forms, any imprints, any aspects that are not belonging to me be leaving now, please, and be turned to source in the highest light. All energies that do not serve me being bathed and cleansed and returned to source. All frequencies of all vows, all contracts, all threads, all cords, all spells from this timeline, any other timeline that is not serving the highest and my best, please be released through the sword of Michael and the sword of truth and through Michael's scissors of detachment to release these cords now. And the, the blue violet energies of the sacred keepers of the violet flame, the electric blue light of Lord Michael and the pink crystic energy is bathing and cleansing, clarifying and clearing, releasing and letting go of all that no longer serves in my perfection of this now moment as my oneness restores. I desire with my pure intention, thought, form, word, and deed, all that I am as I behave as my oneness source. 
I allow my full expression of source. I allow all that I am to be expressed as source. I am worthy of my birthright. I claim my birthright to be one with source. I choose in this moment as I am cleared and cleansed and purified and clarified into my highest frequency of love and light. And all of your bodies and all of your fields are now cleared and cleansed. And we sit within this, this reflection and we call forward the frequency, um, the behavior, the, ha the pattern, the lineage pattern, the imprint, the Akashic imprint, the DNA imprint, the dream reflection, the experience that you had yesterday. Anything that's coming forward for you to clear and cleanse at the deepest level, at the most widest level that you can between you and those that the, discord the, the discordance occurs from. And again, it could be anything. It could be a nature collective. It could be anything. Because again, these traumas that we come with are multidimensional. And some of them come with um, um, experiences on and off world that can have done with cloning of um, different elemental nature energies. So, I mean, this is why it's a multidimensional frequency that we're clearing and cleansing and why we have sometimes the energies and thought forms that we do when it doesn't have anything relating to this, this lifetime. Because again, we're healing it. And some have fear of water and some have fear of elementals. And so all of these are experiences that come from on and off world and we're here to heal. And that's discordance that we're healing. And so as our bodies are pure light and pure love, and you're just feeling really light and happy, and you're one with source, you're one with the Holy Mother Father, your ego is only observing, it's just you and source, your highest potential. I call forward my higher self and my soul lives through me in this moment. I call forward the highest universal energies, all that is in the universe to live through me now in this moment and now to pour through my soul star chakra to further bathe and cleanse and to provide me with the highest codes and the wisdoms and intelligence that I need. I choose to release this discordance and this judgment between me and this person that I'm co-creating with. And it could be children, it could be family, it could be brother, sister, mother, father. Anything that you would, that this morning I did a clearing on all of my family members. The discordance, any discordance from the time of birth to now. And I do this frequently every week because there'll be new things that come up, um, you know, um, suppressed memories from childhood that are we with this family members but also in other family lifetimes. So you're clearing your soul contract with each person. And I do this once a week. <clears throat> and so um, just name the energy and just say, I wish to clear this discordance between these souls and these vibrations and all vibrations that I am with them on this. And because oftentimes they come to us with these deep vibrational core wounds that we're here to heal and forgive. And so bring this into your awareness and say, I had a really uncomfortable experience yesterday with this person and I wish to heal this discordance. I call all of the keepers of the violet plane. I call the highest universal energies, healing energies of all timelines. I call the Holy Mother Father. I call together my soul team and their soul team and the highest frequencies of Lord Michael. Through the violet flame and the Holy Source Mother Father, I wish this discordance to be healed. From the center of my being, the highest universal energies, I ask that this discordance be healed. And I just work it with an infinity. My intention is pure unconditional love. My intention is forgiveness and compassion to this discordance. I wish to live in the highest form of unconditional love in this frequency. Please, through the Holy Lord Michael and the keepers of the violet plane, the Holy Mother Father, as far as my soul's energy is concerned, that all lessons with this experience to be cleared and cleansed and made whole, so that I may experience it from the fifth dimensional perspective that I choose to from an unconditional loving perspective and allowance of that person to live in their path, to know that everything between us has been forgiven and cleared and cleansed through the keepers of the violet flame, through the karmic board of um, love and compassion, and through the divine heavenly councils, we're allowing ourselves to place, I'm giving myself permission to release these resentments, to release guilt, to release shame, to release um, judgment, you know, whatever it is that's, that's being released. Um, whether it's that need to be right or whether that's because that usually returns to another um, timeline when you're having to be right because you were caught short not being right the last lifetime. <laughs> you know, sometimes they're, they could be about the smallest things, but because you've carried two or three or four lifetimes with them, it feels as if it's, you know, moving on forever. You know, and it, it, it ends up creating greater discordance. And so um, um, healing that discordance is just placing it in your awareness. You're acknowledging it. I, I acknowledge that there is a discordance here. I acknowledge that I felt um, pain and fear, the fear of control, you know, not allowing to do my own thing. That's, that's a control 
that's a fear of control because I was you know, persecuted or I was kept in a, uh, you know, there were persecution issues in other lifetimes, but I remember you know, being locked away, um, not being allowed to create and, and move and be free. And so all of those fears, I'm naming them and I'm owning them, saying so I'm releasing this fear on control or my fear of not being um, free. I'm naming it, see I'm already clearing. <laughs> And that's what you'll get in this clearing process. You'll get deep gas and deep um, um, clearing. You know, the various chakras are moving the dark energy. They're releasing it from the chakras. You're acknowledging it, you're releasing it. And I'm releasing the fear of um, being controlled. I'm releasing it now. And I'm sending from my solar plexus, from my heart chakra, from all that I am is multi -tinge. I'm weaving source creator into that. And I see the violet flame of co-creation, see the beautiful flame, the beautiful energies of unconditional benevolent love. You're sending your highest intention of love, of creatorhood, of oneness, of benevolence, and just to live from a loving space. And that's where your intention and your, your acknowledgement of your part within it. I'm clearing all that is my part within it. I'm bringing everything up to the highest frequency that I am able to. And I wish there to be nothing but unconditional love. You know, and every time that you do that, you're allowing whatever judgments you held about that person the day before, whatever, that's being cleared. And if you can do it in the moment, even better. You know, as you're walking by and something pops in your head and that something they said you know, bothered you and you create that judgment and that mental story goes on. You know, before that even starts, take a breath. I send you unconditional love and I choose to create a new frequency within our mental, emotional, and etheric co-creations. Because again, they're thinking about you, Matt, about that situation as well. And that's why those thought forms come in because we're all, healing the thought forms of our collective, mostly within our circle of family and friends and community. And why they pop into your head every now and then, because they're thinking about you angry and upset too. They don't necessarily have to clear it and own it the same way you do, but at least you're clearing your part with it. And you can say, I choose to detach myself from those experiences now, and I'm gonna co-create this way. And so that's how we heal the discordance. And we can do this um, with anything. I heal my, um, I heal the discordance that I have with um, 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 with um, you know, it could be anything banking systems you know the discordance that you had with the banking system you know that relates to other timelines where you didn't have and there were so many rules and regulations that it was hard to move your way to um, allow yourself a, an abundant life you know whatever it is but this is how you can heal that discordance is own it and claim it acknowledge your part within it um, allow yourself to know that from now on, I'm going to release judgment. You know, you're allowed to move about your life as you can, but I'm also allowed to claim who I am and move in my way. You know, um, and also speak your truth and stand up for who you are as a spirit and soul, not to be subjugated in any way and say, well, that doesn't work for me anymore because this is what I choose to be. And this is how we all allow ourselves to live in that sovereign peace, but also clear and cleanse the, the discordance between any and all timelines, any and all realms, any and all frequencies, any and all bodies and forms. I choose to be unconditional, loving between us and anything we've co-created. And so that's an invocation that we use. And so just to give you an example, especially if you have those ones that are karmic, the karmic relationships are usually those that are the most challenging. Twin, twin um, flames are different than soulmates. Twin flames are those that you usually come with that have, and there's so many varying dis you know, descriptions of twin flames and soulmates, that's okay. But from my perspective, a twin flame is one that comes with you, had many lifetimes with them, and they usually challenge you in the most, you know, profound way, so that you can really build, build, reveal who you are as source. Um, because there are other karmic timelines where they didn't end, you know, very well, and you're here to challenge that. Um, and the soulmate is that relationship where you've each done your work, you've each done the, the very equal amount of energy clearing. And karmic clearing so that you're each at that point to bring one another to the highest loving place so that you can amplify each other and bring each other into a new platform of co-creation it's a vibrational harmonization and marriage of energies to bring each other up to a higher unconditional love so that you can then access that unconditional information and wisdoms to then create those platforms at soulmate at the soul level that twin flame is usually challenging you on the karmic vibrational levels and why we have to clear them and heal them. <laughs> and so for those experiences where you do have those karmic twin flame energies, um, and they can come within um, um, children, and they can come within partners, they can come within you know family members, mothers, fathers. And so just to heal it across all timelines, so to own it and claim it, 
and this, this beautiful tray, this beautiful karmic tray that I have, I'm honoring it. I thank you for all that it's taught me. I thank you for all the information and wisdom and the strength that it's taught me. But I now choose to detach and release myself from these karmic energies. I ask the highest frequencies of the own peoples and Holy Lord, Michael, my Mother, Father, Source, Creator, Spirit, the universe, my healing teams, the highest universe energies to assist me in transmuting everything that I've created, thought, word, deed, and feeling between this relationship so that my soul can be clear and cleansed from these karmic energies that no longer serve. I release all judgment. I release all guilt and shame. I release all that I've co-created in this relationship with this soul being. I ask that the highest energies of creation assist me in clearing the pathway and detach from this permanently so that I can move in the highest frequencies of unconditional love. And then you hand it over to your universal teams. I say, I detach and I let go. This is my sovereign choice to detach and let go of this frequency and this energy. I no longer choose to be a part of these frequencies. And then you allow that transmutation to be occurred from the highest levels at the soul level because, again, it's threaded through so many different timelines and realms. Through all timelines, through all realms, through all bodies, through all forms that I take, I choose at this point to release this guilt. I choose in my form of all that I am, pure mind, pure body, pure heart and soul and spirit, all that I am. I choose to release these discordances. That's alchemy. When you're doing it at the heart level and you're handing it over to source, I choose to release this. Please transmute. This is now done with me. I'm done with this lesson. And I choose to move into a higher vibrational lesson and, and, and an experience for my soul that is unconditionally loving, benevolent, and joyful. It doesn't mean that you will not have contact with them in this physical form, but what it means is that you've released yourself from that karmic game. You know, you're saying, I no longer choose to play that game. I'm choosing to play this game now. And that's taking yourself out of those subtle energies that are always co-created. Um, and this is what I wanted to say. Especially when you're dealing with um, family members and karmic energies, is that when you're not um, surrendering it, and clearing it, um, you co-create it on that subtle level. And this is what we talked about in our offerings before. So those judgments, those constant infusions of I wonder what they're thinking or why did they act that way to me, all of those things, they co-create on the subtle level. So this is why I said as soon as you can deal with it, that, that thought form before it even comes up, take a breath. I release myself from that karmic play and go here. Because you want to co-create in the presence. You want to co-create at your heart space now. You want to co-create at the fifth dimension level now. And you don't have to keep infusing on those timelines that are being subtly created. Every time you replay those old experiences, the old timelines. And that's what in um, you know, the tarot is meant by the five of swords and the five of cups. Um, because it's, it's challenging you and beckoning you to change into the now moment. I release what's gone. I no longer choose to play this karmic game anymore with great gratitude and great honor. I release it. I value you, your God. I value you for everything you've taught me and for what I've learned <laughs> to love myself and honor myself. And, you know, you've taught me so much about who I am as spirit. And I'm so strong, you know, and really valuing it and honoring it. Because valuing it and honoring it allows it to be transmuted in the highest frequency of unconditional love because we're all source. It's really, really important. Um, so if I will say anything about any energy, and I've said it in just about all of our offerings, valuing, honoring, and appreciating, having great gratitude for every experience, regardless of how traumatic it is, will allow you your highest evolutionary perspective and um, jumping off point to expand your soul and your heart. That is how you gain and you learn through compassion and love and forgiveness. It's just the vibration of the heavens. And it's so challenging for us to, to learn from that if we're doing it in the same old ways because they don't work. They really don't. They subtly co-create. You'll be creating that timeline over and over and over again with different people, different masks. So um, use those and those energies and how to co-create. And then once you've done that, you've given that to source and your soul feels, wow, I feel lighter. I'm, I'm just releasing myself. You know, I've, I've used those scissors and I've cut those cords and I've cut that, you know, that energy of that infusion of negativity and density, I've chosen to, to give it over and I have great compassion and great appreciation for what it's taught me. I get it. I'm so grateful. Fill yourself up with light. Say, I'm cleared, I'm cleansed, I'm cleared, I'm cleansed, I'm cleared, I'm cleansed. I choose my destiny. 
I choose to move on and co-create. I choose to be a keeper of my own destiny flame with source creator, mother, father, creation, my new fifth dimensional reality. I'm ready to co-create in joy and happiness and who I am as a soul in your faith as your name is create with source. In your faith as your name is create with Gaia. Create with your collective, create with your soul tribe, create with those energies that co-create with you and then begin to call them in. Oh, I feel like how oh, I feel empowered. I feel inspired. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Oh, you're calling in the light, grounding and anchoring the root chakra. I ground and anchor all that I am to the divine heartbeat of Gaia. I'm one with you, Gaia. Remember that sacred triad of co-creation, your collective, Gaia, the universe, that holographic micro-macro. I'm connecting all that I am. I am one with source. Divine Holy Mother, Father, please live through me. Divine Spirit and Soul, all that I am, please live through me. The highest universal energies of benevolent service and light, please live through me. The co-creators of light, councils of light, all that is the Elohim, all that are the creator gods, all that is heavenly and divine, please live through me now as I'm co-creating my new reality. I'm creating a template of love. I'm creating a template of meeting my soul tribe. I'm creating a vibrational template where it's built on love and support and compassion. And I choose to create my beautiful experience and excitement to assist in new creative exploration centers for changing. I'm calling forth the soul tribe and the energies and the codes that will assist me in co-creating this. I co-create these beautiful energies with Gaia to help create a garden of love, to help use the foods and the nourishments to send to those that need it. I'm calling in the energies and the codes and the vibrations of soul tribe and of soul mate and of soul love that will honor me and appreciate me and value me. I co-create a beautiful soul experience with nature and the heavens and God and my lightship team and my celestial teams and my human family that we can co-create in oneness and joy and miraculous human healing. I anchor this new fifth dimensional me in this now moment. These are my co-creations and these are my desires and wishes. I am that I am. I am a divine sovereign being. I am infinite and I am eternally created with source. I am meant to be joyful. I claim my divine birthright to be joyful and creative. I reach the highest heavens and I call down the highest codes. I am a divine sovereign being and I move about my path with power and passion and love and joy and compassion and forgiveness. I know how to create. I know how to alchemically shift. I am a divine creator and I have the power and the will to heal all that I am, to transmute any energy that I face, to transmute any discordance. I have this power. I am purely and divinely sacred. I am one with source and I'm meant to be free and creative. How may I serve in my highest and my best? I call in the reflections of the universe. What is my highest wisdom to my highest informations and synchronicities that I need to know? You wait for your divine answers. And it will usually be <laughs> um, loving encouragement for what you've just created. You're doing a great job. Keep going. You're on your right path. Or it'll come in and, um, you know, a beautiful little fun play with your teams. And that's how we um, are showing you as an example on how to release and heal discordance on any frequency. You could take anything and use that same experience calling in the highest benevolent beings. Keepers of the Violet Flame, Lord Michael. Um, knowing that you can transmute your own energies because it's you whatever you're feeling you can transmute it you have that power or your oneness with source and then co-create your new your new vision how does it feel how do you see it occurring how do you see your interactions with others at that new level it's unconditional loving we're hugging each other we're co-creating we're encouraging each other we're compromising you know feel it and see it and experience it in a, that vibrational way reach out for those highest energies and say i'm not sure what i want to create but i know i want to create something profound what is it come to me, I'm calling in from the universe. And it's always a very light and joyful and elegant play. You're not thrashing your body around or forcing it. It's just an open, I allow the universe to flow through me. I'm creating my vibration of fifth dimensional consciousness. You're allowing your body to flow with source. That's reminding you at that physical and multidimensional level that energy is fluid. I'm releasing what no longer serves. I'm calling in new. I release what no longer serves, calling in new. <clears throat> I'm clearing. I'm sending out a new in invocation, initiation for myself. I'm raising myself up. 
I'm calling them to appreciate it and value it and honor me. I'm sacred light, I'm sacred being. I'm living in my sacredness and I'm going to anchor to Gaia. I'm going to ground with Gaia because she needs that love too. And we can do um, an example of our collective healing. I'm sending divine universal love light to all those that need it. And I'm sending it from Gaia, from the heavens, and I'm sending it out in unconditional prayers of joy and health and wellness. Prayers of joy and health and wellness. Are you feeling discordance? And using your pure intent to be the one with source, source living through you. Okay, source live through me. Help me send the prayers of healing to those that need it. I love that slum a conduit. And just allow it to flow through you. You're not forcing or projecting or making things appear in a certain way or releasing all expectations of what anything should look like. You know, that's the ego. And just allowing source to bring to you what is needed in all moments with your intention of love and living your highest truth. If anything comes up, as it always will, because it's about entrainment, and training your own multidimensional bodies to behave in higher vibrational ways. And entrainment takes practice. It's a moment for moment in the behavior. You know, when you, especially when you're stuck in dysfunction for many, many years and lifetimes, it's, it's called entrainment. And it's the new behavioral patterns that we're creating for each other to be more fluid and open and aligned with your source. A vibration, it's a feeling, it's a vibration, not a thought pattern. Those feelings create thought patterns. Um, <coughs> and so <clears throat> allow yourself to raise your vibration first and then get the, wow, I'm, I'm infinite, I'm amazing. I'm infinite, I'm amazing. And why the movement of your body is always going to be included in releasing those densities because they're stuck within the cells, the chakras, the organs. So there will always be a movement aspect of the clearing and cleansing, um, whether it's done through healing yoga, flow yoga, swimming, you know, jogging, um, dancing on the spot, whatever it is. <clears throat> Let's do more clearing. Um, and knowing that your the 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 heartfelt intention is to be the most unconditional vessel of love and light and creative exploration that you can um, and when you're also healing discordances too we wanted to say this because many of us will be working in um, community and collective levels to know that um, there is remember always 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 the infinite array of possibilities and potentials for um, for expansion in oneness meaning <laughs> it's not just a matter of letting go and letting um, those who are not within the vibration that you think they are because again that's creating that separative energy and this is where mastery really comes in to really hone into where those judgments and those energies are coming from to bring everything up to a oneness platform and platter <laughs> um, so that you can see ever your ever more threadedness as your omnipresence this is what we're getting at in all of our teachings and offerings so that you be that omnipresence through unconditional love and compassion of all beings that you're co-creating with. But to always see it from that spirited perspective that there's always ways of compromising and working things out. There will be those occurrences that um, energies and relationships um, will be divinely um, orchestrated to move in their own unique ways, but to leave room for the potential of all love in all conditions of all oneness. And that's mastery. Um, and that's where it will take each and every person to know their own discernment to say, um, how is it the divine? And you can ask your teams. Your teams have told, you know, my teams have told me, you know, because I've come as an empath and as a crystal child, I want to fix everything all the time for everybody. But as we said before, that that's not setting up boundaries for them to be their highest and best self that they've come to be because you figuring it all out for them, showing them the way on every single thing they, they need to move through. They're not going within themselves and finding their own unique path because maybe they're going to be the next teacher that will come forward with something that's far beyond what you've, what you've seen and taught. This is why it's so important for us just to be the vibration of our own perfection, of our own source, because we have no way of knowing all of these beings before us are their own unique master. And it's not for us to say my way is right, your way is that's not any of our offering vibrations it's allowing all things to be brought to the highest ultimate potentiality to know that there is more than what we see before us as an opportunity to change and shift to a higher vibration there is <laughs> because we're omnipresent <laughs> just in the doing this clearing and healing today tomorrow listening to this again you're going to come up with a new idea wow we can really resolve this let's do it this way 
you know, or let's perhaps we, we really focus on, you know, creating more laughter in our day. Maybe that will just get us past this awkward point. You know, there will always be a way that will be loving and joyful and in oneness because that person might have a full clearing and awakening during their dream that night and be at a totally different vibrational level to accept and honor and wake up into what your, what your needs are and your desires are. Um, but again, it's all based on each individual's soul blueprint, what each individual is ready to move through, what each individual is tuned in with. And this is where light workers and healers really have to um, be discerning in their soul's role, you know, to be that, um, that, that space holder, you know, that healer that is um, setting the vibration and, and honoring and guiding if required and if asked. Um, but just to set that vibration of love and compassion and forgiveness. Um, and so as empaths and crystals, it's really allowing us to step out of everything we've ever done and known and through eons of time, because many timelines that we have come within have been for us to truly be those um, really profound healers and just fix things. But this lifetime, it's about us allowing us to be those gatekeepers and holders of space so that all people go within themselves and find their own God source their own spirit source, their own way to carve through their um, karmic clearing and their, their soulful oneness with source through the ascension process, the awakening and enlightenment process. Um, so those are really key elemental points, foundational points of us setting the roots, setting the foundation of our human family tree to be the, um, to be the helpers and the guides for one another knowing that there's always an infinite number of ways that we can see things from different perspectives um, and also honor who we are to say that it's really time for my soul to move on. You know, it's really, really time. I've been guided in this way by my soul. I've been guided in my, by my teams in this way. I've learned so much and I honor each and every one of you, but it's time for me to move in this way now. It really honors my soul's path and I'm here for this calling and I must, I must, I must choose this. There is that point in every aspirant's path where Detachment will be tested, <laughs> and detachment is um, usually um, usually within that mastery learning process through which we will go through the dark night of the soul, if you will, for when we're, from what I understand, when we're reaching that 51% mark of clearing our karma, and we're detaching from all those things that we've ever known, that we've held so tight to, and knowing that we're completely one with source and we're one with our higher selves and our souls to know that all vibrations and all people, all experiences, all history is all one now. We have access to it all. We don't have to limit ourselves by attaching ourselves to um, a way of behaving or thinking or believing that keeps us in energies that are meant to evolve. It's all about evolution, <laughs> the spirit, spirit and soul. And so many aspirants in the mastery phase will be going through the testing phase of detachment. And it could be detachment of a job that you've held for 20, 30 years. It could be detachment of a relationship or relationships with family, traditions, anything that we've held to. Because this um, mastery phase is about us opening into the all and all is possible, all is available, all is true, all is, you know, all is the all. You know, how okay with we are detaching from it. You're okay when you get to the fact that that's, that's a fear. If we have to hold on to something that we think that, oh no, it's going to change. <laughs> it must change. It doesn't mean it's wrong or bad. It, it's 10 times what you thought it could be. <laughs> you know, but that's the ego. The ego wants to keep everything the same, you know, because you think you're losing someone or losing a relationship or losing access. You're not. You're actually more, you have more access in your detachment. Um, and so those are, that'll be another show. Anyways, we wanted to show that and share that with you. So through your healing of discordance, you can do that with any energies. Remember to um, create that self-care, your dream reflection, your clearing first, and then calling in the highest energies to help you clear and, dis and disconnect, detach from the energies that you so wish. Um, and intending the vibration that you want to move through when you're co-creating your field, intend first. I intend to co-create from my highest level of co-creation with source. Boom. You know, I really want to create this. I really want to create that. That's I'm sending that out to the universe. Come forward to me in synchronicity, symbols, signs, classes, you know, books, whatever it is I need, send it to me, source. And just be open and flow. I'm open. I'm receiving. I'm open. When you're sending out your intention, allow it to be released, release all expectation. And then at the end of your just sit in reflection. What is it that I need to know and hear and do? What's that I need to act on? What is it that I need to look out for and be ready for? What is it that I need to prepare myself for? 
what is it that my body needs to prepare for what I need to prepare for? You know, because oftentimes from what I've experienced, your body's going to move through a major shift, you know, and it's going to need a ton more water. Um, it's going to need maybe herbs and different um, energies. And lots of rest. So the honor that reflection time, honor that integration time, we can integrate that information. Wow, that was amazing. As I was clearing it and detaching it, I really felt a lightness in my second chakra. I was clearing my second chakra, that felt really good. That's honoring and valuing you, or that's part of that self-care, that care, that integration of all that you're being, all of that universal omnipresence yourself, that's you. That aspect of you. <clears throat> and so they're showing me, you know, just that part of that, that integration time you're writing down, and you're reflecting upon your experience every day. You know, moment for moment, wow, I really went through that experience, really great. You're allowing yourself that time to say, wow, I'm doing really good. I'm honoring myself and I love myself and I'm, I'm healed and I'm whole. I'm allowing myself to move through this in the most beautiful way because that omnipresent part of you that's maybe up in the 12th dimension is just giving you that particle of information that you really needed and you connected with it. You're creating that wholeness throughout all vibrations and all timelines and all dimensions and that's what's truly profound about the soul. That's why we value these experiences so much and we're so happy that we get to share it with you. So thank you, dear loved ones, for tuning in and joining us on this experience of the sacred corner through which we can create anew and value all that was as we're harmonizing in this new now moment as our oneness as source. Namaste. Blessings and sacred healings and sacred light. Don't forget to love. <laughs>